Hey everybody, welcome to Pop Culture Philosophers. I'm Rockin' Robbie Billups, and today we're doing the comics preview show, and of course we always love to do the giveaways as well, and I'm here with Rex from Dynamic Forces and Dynamite. What's up, Rex? What's going on, Robbie? How you doing, buddy? Oh, I'm doing great. You know, one of my favorite things to do every week now is this little show. I just love hanging out and talking with you for a little bit cool. about comics, pop culture, and what's coming up, of course, on the show over at the EXP every Monday night, 6 p.m. Eastern time for two hours. I'm there with Rex. John, sometimes other people, you never know who's going to show up. Amy showed up this week. That's true. You never know. And you never know who's going to show up in the chat. And it's become one of my favorite things to do each week, that show and this show. Well, thank you for saying that, buddy. I enjoy, I enjoy doing it as well. Um, you know, it, it's uh, we'll talk about the show a little bit. We'll talk about just about anything. Football always seems to enter enter the picture. I don't know if you caught that crazy game last night. I with caught the, with the, the Packers highlight. And the Cardinals. Yeah, I caught the highlights of it, and let me just say that that game surprised me. I thought it was really going to go the other way. I mean, there were down their top three receivers, um, and I was like, well, this is the game where the Packers are going to go down, but I was kind of wanting them to take the Cardinals down because I want all of us in the NFC to have the same kind of you know, record right now because right. my Cowboys, you know, a bye in the playoffs would mean a lot to us. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to say. You ain't getting the vibe, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> it's a little early say, to be drinking there, Robbie. I don't never think say so, never. <laughs> but but I I you know you can never count Aaron Rodgers out. But they the Cards did have a chance to win that game. But there was that that miscommunication with Kyler and his receiver. And oh my goodness, and he, he never turned his head around. I know, dude. Oh. I it just so so they they eked out a, a a close one. But but you can never count them out. And now there are rumors. I know they're just crazy rumors, but there are rumors that um, that uh, Aaron Rodgers is a possibility for the Eagles next season. Um, um, I don't know if you've heard that one. Um, so, so that would be phenomenal. I mean, if we get Aaron Rodgers or Russell Wilson, that, that's another name that's been thrown in the mix. You know, again, I, mean, I don't know. Yeah, th th this is just fodder that they put on on the the the, the, the sports shows. To talk about and and you know the Eagles obviously their own personal website or the the, the Eagles news so to speak not not controlled by the Philadelphia Eagles but yeah. you know there's talk like that I mean it's it's how far fetched it is is it probably pretty far fetched I think Russell Wilson is a bigger possibility than Aaron Rodgers but uh, because Russell's been kind of unhappy there in Seattle for a little bit now so yeah. so maybe that could happen maybe we could become the Bucks you know well you know uh, Aaron Rodgers you know was unhappy with Green Bay. I'm sure, I don't know how much that's changed, but it seems like, and he says he's having the most fun he's ever had playing. And he's playing like someone who's rediscovered his love for the game, right? I I, I think, yeah, I, I think that that what's probably going to happen is I think the the the, the Packers are going to make a, a, a hard shift, um, you know, but they're going to have to trade away that that uh, that young QB they drafted which yeah. is the primary reason that, that Aaron Rodgers got upset in the first place. I forget his name, but um, they would have to trade him away so that Aaron knows that, that they're invested in him to finish his career at Green Bay. But well, I, don't, if they and don't, I just don't think that's going to happen either. Yeah, like, I don't, if they yeah. don't, who knows, man? He might be ready to, to, to bounce. You know, well, I, and, I appreciate and, your positivity about your Eagles season where you're already looking ahead to next year and possibly you know, getting a, a good hey, star hey, quarterback. Hey, Robbie, let me have my bones. What else I got, dude? Okay, come on. Hey, We've won two games, two. All right? It's not looking good. So, so in typical Eagles fan fashion, I'm looking beyond this season. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, that's how we used to do it. The Cowboys all the time. I had, I've had to do that for like 20 plus years. So it's okay. So, well, I guess the question is what's better knowing this early in the season that we're done or getting, getting wiped out towards the end when you have all that hope. Okay. I don't know. I, I would say in all fairness, both, both fan bases have experienced that. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know which is better or which is worse. Yeah, I was thinking about that this year because I'm a big Yankees fan. And, you know, right. we made the wild card game with the Red Sox and we lost. And I was like, well, what's, what's better? Just to not have made it, right? Or to get into one game playoff to get in and you lose. Like, oh, But I'm just I, glad I, that I the Red Sox lost to the Astros. Yeah. But now I'm ready for the Braves to take care of the rest of the Astros because I, I don't like those cheating Astros. Let's just say yeah, no, yeah. no offense I, to Astros fans. <laughs> So, but but what's funny is that you're okay with it as long as they're beating up, beating up on the Red Sox. Yeah. Well, I, at that point, I actually just wanted the field to open up and swallow both teams whole, and then be like, no, no American League representation in the World Series. <laughs> the no World Series can't be having that. <laughs> 
But yeah, we lived through 94. We, we, we can make it through a year with no World Series. We'll be fine. <laughs> just crown the Braves the champs. Let's just do that. You know, and right. I'm, down, I'm near Atlanta, so there's a lot of Braves fans. I mean, we're in Braves country here. And uh, they're, they're my National League team. But, of course, in 1996, I had to make a final decision between the Yankees and the Braves. Right. And, and I chose the Yankees. But uh, I would and love the to see. was over for the Braves. Yeah, right. I mean, well, the Braves, the thing that's frustrating with Braves fans is that for the longest time, it was like 15 seasons straight that they made the postseason, but they only got that one World Series victory. And they yeah. had the probably the best starting pitching lineup that's ever existed in Major League Baseball during that time with Smoltz and Glavin and Maddox. Like, yeah, it wasn't, I mean, they had it, it was stacked. You know what I'm saying? So it was and, so and frustrating was to keep probably- getting beaten. <laughs> Well, well, Greg Maddox was probably one of the, the best pitchers of that era. I mean, you know, it, yeah. and it wasn't, you know, he was the ultimate in, you know, he, he had the Randy Johnsons who just throwing heat all the time. But Maddox, it was all about about movement, about, you know, hitting your spots, you know, knowing knowing the batter. So he was amazing to watch. He was absolutely incredible. Yeah. Even when, later in his career with the Cubs, it was cool to watch him. Um, yeah. Still, still had as Smoltz when he when he transitioned into a closer. That was cool. Yeah, um, it was just it's really nice to see great pitching, you know. And, and yeah, it is, it is. That <laughs> was a great year there. Everybody likes the home runs, but pitching is sometimes the most exciting. They had that commercial during the home run chase. It was him, him and Glavin, I think. Right? Oh yeah. You know, they did that commercial where they were hitting and they were saying, "Hey, chicks dig the long ball." You remember yes, that? Right. Yes, I do. <laughs> All right, and uh, and to wrap up the baseball or the sports talk, I'll just say uh, I'm not too pleased with my Lakers start. It's going to be a rough one for us this year, I think. I, I don't think what I told. I think you and I talked about this. I I told you I didn't think Westbrook was going to be in a, a you know a plus for you guys. I, I just didn't see how that was going to work. He would be a plus if he was the squad B like ball handler, right? Like he's like him and LeBron do the same thing basically. Yes. They do it differently, but they do the same thing. And when they're on the floor together, it's not like the other night the game before we blew like a 26 point lead to the yep. thunder the game before that when there was no lebron and and russell was able to like do it he was able to do it man and ah, whatever let's talk about comics how yeah we got a comic show coming up on uh monday so let's uh we're gonna preview some of the books there but uh you want to go ahead and announce the winner of the contest yes well wait you're doing the uh the randomizing though right yes okay all right so the prize let's talk about the prize first is Army of Darkness, number two, Incentive Virgin cover. All right. That's a beautiful cover right there. Nice. So the winner will receive this. Now, uh, just so everybody understands how the contest works. So every week, uh, I'm on Robbie's show on, on Friday nights, and then Robbie joins us on Monday nights. So each show, if you post something in the chat boards, doesn't matter what it is, even if it's just say hello, uh, you know, how you doing? But we encourage you because, I mean, I, I really think, and, and Robbie, Robbie's done enough shows uh, with me together that part of the magic, I think, is the interaction we have with the viewers through the chat boards. Um, you know, a lot of what we talk about is initiated by, by our viewers when they post something in chat. But if you post something in chat, you will automatically enter to, uh, uh, into our contest, which uh, every week. So if you post tonight on Robbie's, we will announce the winner on Monday night on the Experience Show. And then on the Experience Show, if you post it in the chat board there, then on Fridays on Robbie's show, we'll announce the winner of that one and then vice versa. And then we just keep doing it week after week after week, as long as I have books uh, that we can give away. Um, and you know what? We might switch it up somewhere down down the road here soon. Uh, do something else. We've been doing a lot of of high end. And, and the prize uh, to this point has been high-end variant covers um, that have a $50 retail or more, so a premium comic. But we might mix it up a little bit, maybe prom- promo cards. I don't know. You know, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll look in the, the DF vault and see what's there that nobody's paying any attention to, and I'll, I'll lift it for, for our contest. Into the vault. So I have the names here of everybody who participated in the stream on Monday night. I've taken Nick off, of course, and I've taken John off. Sorry, John. Um so we got the list, and all you had to do was, like like Rex said, just say something in the chat, right? In today's contest, all you got to do is comment in the description, not the description, comment in the comments below, and we'll announce that winner on Monday. So you got a few days to, to do this, jump in, throw in a comic, throw in a station, all that stuff. So I'm going to hit the randomizer button. The big wheel. And it's spinning. 
And it's Dave Cerrone, a library Dave kid. Dave Cerrone wins another one. Friend I'm going to have to go hang out with him in Vegas or something. Yeah, He's right. a lucky dog, that one. <laughs> so, all right, Dave, if you are watching, uh, you have you are, again, the big winner. I think this is number two. Uh, Kiss Army of Darkness, number two, Incentive Virgin Cover. Um, and we will get this right out to you. Uh, congratulations, Dave. And I'm sure, you know, if he, he's not watching tonight, we'll see him on Monday, no doubt. Absolutely. We'll get that right out to you, Dave. Congratulations, Dave. I couldn't think of anybody else more deserving, except for everybody else that was participating in the chat who was a part of the contest. So, what we got yep. coming up on the show Monday night, Rex? Well, we got a lot of great stuff. So, I want to say that this will be a surprise item. We don't know which one, but we've been putting statues on uh, our shows Mondays and Wednesdays, and uh, they've been real popular. So we're thinking we're going to bring more back. So we will have a uh, a dynamite statue f uh, on offer f on Monday night from 6 to 8 p.m. Um, so it'll be a surprise. Might be Deja Thoris. Might be Vampirella. Might be Red Sonia. I don't know yet. I haven't yeah. picked it. But I will pick it uh, today, and then on Monday we'll find out what it is. So that's kind of a surprise. For anybody uh, who's thinking about tuning in, uh, there will be. And, and our statues are great. And I love the statues mainly because, you know, for comic collectors, it's, you know, some people do do it. They'll frame it up and, and do all that. But it's kind of hard to display comics. You know what I mean? Um, you know, a CGC slab comic is a little easier because, you know, it's protected. And, you know, kids walk around knocking over the, you know, the, the, the table or whatever. More than likely it'll survive. But with the statues, it's a really, really visual way to display your hobby. And, uh, you know, it fits in with your decor, whatever it may be. As I can see, you know, action figures, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. A little bit easier to display than a comic. So that's what I really like about it. And, and the ones that, that we make out of Dynamite, I mean, the, the exacting detail uh, that goes into it, I can't even tell you. Uh, you know, it, it, it's something else. So, so we will have a statue on uh, Monday night. Uh, it'll be a surprise. Uh, because to me too, because I haven't picked it yet. Um, and then uh, one item that we always talk about, because I love this item, and it is the Dynamite 10 pack reader set. Um, 10, 10 random Dynamite titles with a cover price of $3.99 or higher and a suggested retail of $40. And we'll be selling it for $5. So 50 cents a comic to try. And as a thank you to our viewers and anybody that that's purchased from us, but more so to, to get, the, the titles in the hands of readers to encourage more reading, encourage people to to support the the independent publishers out there. Nothing against DC or Marvel, but sometimes I think the indies get a little bit lost in the shuffle. This is a way to introduce some great reads, some great titles. Um, Vampirella, Red Sonia, Green Hornet, uh, James Bond. I mean, I, you know, I could go on. Um, and we encourage everybody to, to, to patronize, you know, other I independent titles out there. Uh, or publishers out there like IDW and, and so on and so forth. Um, you know, it's it's a great way to, to find some new stuff. I mean, I think John put it best. I think it was on Wednesday's show that sometimes everybody can get a little marveled or DC burnt out a little bit. You know, yeah. they, they, they put, there's so many titles. If you're a comic fan, this gives you something a little bit different, you know. Um, and we have some great creators that, you know, that obviously uh, work on them. Uh, so uh, it's, it's a great kind of thank you. But like with every show, Robbie, we try to bring you a good mix, uh, signed comics, remarks, CGC graded. And, you know, what I love about the CGC graded comics that we bring is that it's guaranteed. So if we bring you a 9.8, you're guaranteed to get that 9.8. With uh, most of the items we bring on the show, we generally only have one available at uh, the prices that we have. Prices are super low, so we can't sell multiple quantities necessarily at that price. Otherwise, you know. Robbie would be doing this show by himself because we'll be out of business. Huh. Um, but again, the 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 shows that we do on the experience are a little bit different, as, as I think Robbie has discovered. There are a lot of claim shows out there, um, you know, where and they do great and quality is great. And, uh, you know, I watch a lot of them. But those claim shows are, are predominantly sales. So they try to get through as many comics as 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 they can. And that's great. And they do great. And, and I encourage everybody, you know, once again, support those businesses, support your local comic book shop. But for us, we tried to find a way to differentiate ourselves, make ourselves a little different. So what we do is we still bring you great comics uh, for collectors, uh, the hobbyists out there. Uh, and we try to do it at fantastic prices. 
but more so we also try to mix that with you know some interesting conversation interaction with our viewers through chat boards and as you can see when robbie and i get together we can talk about anything we can yeah. talk about the atlanta braves we can talk about the, the the los angeles lakers we can talk about the hated dallas cowboys did <laughs> i say hated oh i meant to think that um, we can talk about right. your beloved philadelphia eagles and, and, yes, and aaron Rodgers becoming the starting quarterback next season look for it <laughs> or russell wilson or both. Hey, why not? If I'm going to fantasize, I might as well go all the way, right? Go all the way. <laughs> but um, so we, we're trying to bring that that comic book shop experience, if you will, a virtual experience. We know that that there are a lot of people still not really going out. And, you know, that that we certainly understand that. But I think what's lost when you don't go to your local comic book shop or a convention, OK, a con somewhere, is you miss that interaction, that that conversation with people that have you know, similar likes, uh, similar hobbies. And that's kind of lost, you know, sure. Going to a con, seeing cosplayers, all that stuff. Fantastic. Meeting some of the creators that, that you're a fan of. That's a great, great experience. But I think that what we're trying to do is re recreate that experience, talking, chatting, hanging out with people that have a similar interest, a similar hobby as yourself. And if we can, if you're a collector of signed comics, you already know going to a con is not the most efficient way to pick up comics because otherwise you spend your entire con experience waiting in line. And there's so many other things to do. Um, if you're a graded comic collector, well, we all know that that the the uh, the grading companies have had a backlog thanks to pandemic, staffing issues, so on and so forth. So it takes a while for you get, to get your graded co comics back. But beyond that, I would say the vast majority of times when a collector sends their own comic in to get graded, I would say the vast majority of times that grade comes back lower than we anticipated. You know, it, it I would say it's rare that somebody thinks that the comic they send in is an 8.0 and it comes back a 9.0 and they're like, oh my gosh, that's great. Okay. Uh, the shipping costs, the time, you know, waiting for it to get back. You know, I, I don't know what the timeline is now, but I know that uh, uh, over the summer they were about four or five months out. So, you know, they were that far behind. So, you know, and then one of the things that's one of my personal favorites, and and I know we're turning Robbie into a fan, is sketch covered remarks. That's a, a, a section of the hobby that's really grown, um, maybe really didn't exist prior it, maybe a decade ago or maybe 15 years ago where a remark was really just a line sketch, a head sketch of a character on an existing, you know, on an existing title. It's really grown to now where you've got full blown color art on these covers and publishers are putting out blank variants on a thicker stock just to accommodate that. And one of, one of the, I would say the best cover sketch artist, but a phenomenal creator. But beyond that, one of the greatest cover sketch uh, uh, artists out there is Ken Hayes, who you know I'm a huge fan of. It's yeah. it's the color, the mediums that he works in. I've seen him do, you know, in silver and gold paint pen. Um, I've seen him do full color. I've seen him do connecting covers, which is always blows my mind how he gets it. You know, uh, four different four different comics and he manages to link all four of them or two of them, whatever the case may be. Um, so we try to bring that to you at, at, at affordable prices. And, uh, you know, what we're also kind of doing, which we'll probably do more of is a mix. We've done like uh, sets where you get a graded comic, a signed comic, and then a remark comic all in one set, uh, you know, at an, in, at an incredible price. So, you know, the show is a lot of different things. You know, we'll talk about a lot of different things. Food comes up. We had the history of spam, the one show. Yeah. Uh, but predominantly, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to create an environment where join us, interact with us, um, pick up some great comics and great deals. Uh, like the Dynamite 10 pack. If you find a title in there that you really enjoy, we encourage you go, go patronize your local comic book shop, put it on your pull list. You know, they're, they're out there working hard every single day. Their numbers are falling. A lot of small businesses have, have, have closed down during a pandemic. Not much I can do about that. I can only order out so much food. But if I can do a little something, and I know Robbie feels the same way, if if we can do a little something to help the, the comic book shops out there, help up guys like Robbie, then it's a good day all, you know, all over. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and recreating the experience over at the experience has been just a joy, a treat, like get, gathering together, talking about this stuff. The Dynamite 10 pack is a fantastic 
thing for gifts or for yourself. You know, there's yeah. there's so much variety there. So many different characters. You just think of the ones that Rex named with like James Bond, uh, Red Sonia, Green Hornet, Vampirella. Those are four completely different characters, four completely different types of stories. And like I like all of that stuff. And some people, maybe they just like James Bond, but there you go. And so it's a great way, especially with the holidays coming up, to be able to get a bunch of comics pretty cheap and be able to hand them out as gifts or as we were talking about. Uh, I know a guy who used to go to like doctor's offices and dentist offices. Yeah, you, you mentioned bring, that. Yeah, you would bring comics, he'd read them, and he'd leave them there, you know, because that's way better than some boring magazine from two years ago that's already out of date. Uh, the Ken Hazer stuff is amazing because it's a great – his remarks are like a really great bridge between that quick – that super quick head and shoulders you can get at a con possibly after waiting for two hours in line. Right. And, and a full on super expensive commissioned piece, right? It's a great yes. blend between those two. And I love signed comics too, especially when they're signed by legends that are hard to get signatures. I noticed we got a secret invasion. Number one DF exclusive signed by John Romita senior and remarked with a captain America head sketch by Ken Hazer. And that's one that's going to be up on Monday. That's that's really cool. And and you know John Romita Senior really doesn't sign anymore. You know so so he is more or less retired. Um, even before the pandemic, he wasn't he wasn't really hitting cons anymore. So very difficult signature to get. But um, we'll have uh, Batman number ninety signed by James Tinney in the, the fourth. Um, we'll have uh, Avengers X Men Axis, another legendary creator signed by Adam Kubert. Um, Walking Dead. A, a, you know, always a popular title, uh, signed by uh, artist St Stefano Guadiano. We have a Captain America number 700, signed by Mark Wade. Um, and then the man who killed Superman, another legendary creator, uh, Dan Jurgens. We have an Aquaman, Aquaman 80th anniversary special number one that will be on Monday night. Um, Batman Three Jokers number one, cover A, signed by Jeff Johns. Um, we have a Red Sonja uh, Virgin, Virgin uh, Ultra Limited Edition cover. That will be available uh, high in Jenny Frizen. Uh, we have a Spider Gwen CGC graded uh, with the cover by Robbie Rodriguez, guaranteed 9.8. Um, Suicide Squad uh, exclusive cover, Dynamic Forces exclusive cover by Terry Dodson, CGC graded, uh, guaranteed 9.8. Uh, Six Million Dollar Man signed by one of the writers and a great guy, Jim Kahorik. Um, you know, a Black Hat number two, also a guaranteed. Uh, Graded CGC 9.8. So, you know, and, and again, when you get CGC comics from us, they're guaranteed of the grade. So if we say we have 9.8 available, that's the one you're going to get. Yeah, that's an awesome lineup. And there's even more. Of course, there's the statue surprise that's going to happen. I'm really looking forward to seeing what that one's going to be um, and seeing the fans and uh, followers react to that. And uh, just really looking forward to the conversation that we always have. And, and, and I, I do hear the rumor that John is going to be returning this week yes john will be returning on monday he was on wednesday um but uh but you know i felt the quality show was much higher on monday with amy on instead of john <laughs> that's fun that is fun and i just love that no matter who's there with us when we start talking about sports it's like they just uh, they check out don't they <laughs> they just totally check out speaking of checking out we're about to check out don't forget to enter the contest drop a comment below you're automatically entered into the contest to win a high-end variant from dynamic forces we'll announce that winner on monday's show at the experience link in the description below at 6 p.m eastern time we go for two hours and it's super fun rex thank you for being here yet again my friend thank you buddy station station y'all have a good one